Assalamu alaikum and hello dear parents. Today we are going to start the fifth video of the series Important Civil Engineering MCQs. These MCQs are equally important for all upcoming tests like tests for the post of SGO Civil, Assistant Director Civil, Junior Engineer, Assistant Engineer and Sub Engineer Civil. But before going into the discussion, if you are visiting the channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to receive the notification about updated videos <coughs> watch the video full after watching this video full you will have some idea about upcoming civil engineering test so let's start today's topic so here we go the first question of today's lecture is this jumper is used to coat the choices are a external concrete surfaces B. Interior surface is not exposed to weather. C. Woodwork. And D. Compound walls. So the right choice for this question is B. Interior surface is not exposed to weather. MCQ's number 2 is What is the use of station pointer? The choices are for making sounding in water bodies. B. For plotting of sounding in harbor area. C. For making sunken shifting hazards and D for making tidal observation. So the right choice is B for floating of sounding and harbor area. MCQ's number 3 is the point on the celestial sphere vertically below the observer's position is called. The choices are celestial angle, B nadir, C fall, and D zenith. As we know that the zenith is the point vertically above the observer position while nadir is the point vertically below the observer position so the right choice for this question is b nadir mcq number four is in geodetic surveys higher accuracy is achieved if angles between the curved lines are treated as plane angles b curvature of the earth is ignored c curvature of earth surface is taken into account and d none of these so it is clear that in geodetic survey we take curvature of the earth so the right choice for this question is c curvature of the earth surface is taken into account mcq's number five is the minimum water content at which the soil just begin to crumble when Rolled into threads 3 mm in diameter is known as A. Liquid limit B. Plastic limit C. Shrinkage limit and D. Permeability limit So the choice is B. Plastic limit MCQ's number 6 is The difference in level between the top of a bank and supply level in a canal is called A. Berm B. Preboard C. High top bank and D none of these so it is a simple MCQ and its right answer is B pre-board. MCQ number 7 is retrogressions of the bit level of a river downstream where occurs due to A heavy impact of water B increase of the level C less percentage of silt and D soft soil strata so the right choice for this question is less percentage of silt which is choice C MCQ's number 8 is from irrigation engineering and it is when a canal and a drainage approach each other at the same level the structure so provided is choices are A an equated B a siphon C a level crossing and D inlet on outlet so it is clear that the right choice for this question is level crossing MCQ's number 9 is when a canal is carried over a natural drainage, the structure provided is known as A. Aqueduct, B. Siphon, C. Superface, and D. None of these. So, according to the definition of aqueduct, the right choice is A. Aqueduct. MCQ's number 10 is also from irrigation engineering. It is irrigation canal are generally aligned along A. Ridge line, B. Contour line, C. Valley line, D. Straight line. Is the most economical canal is the ridge line, so the 
right choice for this question is a ridge line question number 11 is determining the difference element in elevation of points on surface of earth is known as a surveying b longitudinal leveling c quantity survey d leveling it is one of the definition of the leveling it determining the difference of elevation of points on the surface of the earth so the right choice for this question is d leveling mcq number 12 is in areas where light rains are uniformly distributed throughout the year the type of service system to be adopted is a separated system b combined system c partially combined system and d none of these so the most suitable answer for this question is b combined system mcq number 13 is from transportation engineering and it is along horizontal curves if centrifugal force exceeds lateral friction vehicle may the choices are a skid b slip c not affected and d none of these so if the centrifugal force and curves exceed the lateral friction the vehicle may overturn or skid so the right choice for this question is a skid or overturning Question number 14 is contour of different elevation may cross each other only in the case of an for hanging clip, B a vertical clip, a C a saddle, and D an inclined clip. We know that a contour line does not cross each other, but when the contour lines cross each other, it means that it is an overhanging clip. So the right choice for this question is an overhanging clip. MCQ number 15 is the sewage treatment unit in which aerobic decomposition of organic matter is used are called the choices are in hopes tank b trickling filters c sludge sedimentation tank and d none of these in hope tanks and sludge sedimentation tank are anaerobic treatment units so the right choice for this question is trickling filter b mcq number 16 is the maximum percentage of chemical ingredients of cement is that of the choices are a lime b silica c alumina d iron oxide we know that the major component of cement is a lime so the right choice is a lime mcq number 17 is the ratio of inertial forces of a fluid fluid and the viscous force of the liquid is called a reynolds number b Froude's number c euler's number and d weaver's number it is the definition of the not number that it is the ratio of inertial forces and viscous forces so the right choice for this question is a reynolds number mcq number 18 is water belongs to newtonian fluid b non-newtonian fluid c compressive fluids and d none of these newtonian fluid means the or the fluids which obeys newton's law of viscosity and non-newtonian fluids are those fluids which do not obey the Newton's law of viscosity, so the right choice for this question is a Newtonian fluid. MCQ number 19 is the shorter apparatus is used for testing a durability of cement, b soundness of cement, c strength of cement, and d hardness of cement. The shorter apparatus are special apparatus which are used for determination of soundness of cement. Soundness of cement means the ability of cement to resist volume changes so the right choice for this question is b soundness of cement mcq number 20 is the ratio of the head recovered to the head foot in is known as a efficiency b modular limit c sensitivity and d flexibility so the right choice for this last mcq is a efficiency That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any question regarding this or any other topic, write it in the comment box. I will try to answer all of your questions. And also write your feedback about the videos. Thank you very much.